In this video, we are going to learn about double and half angle formulas. So what is half angle formulas? So half angle formulas, okay, so half angle, half we have angle formula. So half angle formula for sine, we have now sine u over 2 equals to plus minus square root of 1 minus cosine u all over by 2. For cosine, cosine u over 2, we have now plus minus square root of 1 plus cosine u all over by 2. And for tangent, tangent u over 2 is equal to 1 minus cosine u over sine u or we can have now a sine u over 1 plus cosine we have u or you can have as well as tangent u over 2 is equal to sine over cosine u over 2 right so when choosing we have a half angle formula we choose either a positive so we have a positive or a negative value here so depending on which quadrant it will lies on. So going back to, we have the sign of the trigonometric identities, which quadrant it will lies on. For example, in quadrant number one, all of the, all of the functions here are positive. So we have the cosine. Cosine is positive. Okay. Cosine is positive. Sine also is positive so therefore tangent as well is positive because tangent is sine over cosine how about in quadrant number two in quadrant number two we have cosine value so we have this one as our x and y coordinates so therefore we have now cosine this side is equals to negative sine and then for our sine it's positive and then for tangent, because we will have sine over cos, cos is negative, so therefore tangent is negative. For the third quadrant, third quadrant we will have now as cosine is also, we have here it's negative. Sine is also negative, therefore the tangent is sine over cos, negative over negative is equals to, we have positive. And then for quadrant number four, Cosine is positive, okay, sine is negative, and then tangent as well here will become negative. So these are the sign, okay, depending on which quadrant it will lies on. Okay, let's try some examples. Okay, let's say we have sine. Okay, so we will try to evaluate expression using double angle or half angle formulas. So for example, we have sine 15 degrees. Sine 15 degrees is also equals to sine. We have a special triangle, right? So therefore, we have 1 over 2 times 30 degrees, right? So therefore, that is half of a special triangle. So sine is equals to square root of this one is in first quadrant so therefore we will use positive one minus we will get now as equals to 30 degrees right because half angle formula so sine 15 half of that one is equals to 30 degrees so therefore you will have 30 divided by 2 which is now it will become as sine our u is equals to 30 over 2 got it so therefore, we will get now as cosine 30, okay, all over by we have 2, which gives us this one as cosine 30 going back to the units of circle. So therefore, 1 minus we have square root of 3 over 2 over by 2. Then simplify more farther. So therefore, you can have now a square root of 2 minus square root of 2, right, or square root of 3, I mean all over by 2, yes, 
and then reciprocal of this one so therefore times 1 over 2 so we can get as equal to how much is that one now so simplify it more farther so therefore you will get as square root of we have 2 okay square root of 2 minus square root of 3 all over by 2 because 2 times 2 there will be equal to 4 which is square root of 4 is equal to positive we have 2 okay so try to try to check the units of circle and then try to remember as well what are the values of cosine sine tangent of the special triangles okay let's try more example how about if we have cosine okay cosine 22.5 degrees so cosine 22.5 degrees is also equals to cosine 1 over 2 times 45 degrees right so u over 2 so therefore we will have now as equals to 22 is in first we have quadrant still so therefore we will use a positive so we will have now as 1 plus which is this one is cosine 1 plus cosine 45 all over by 2 next you will get now as cosine 45 is equal to square root of 2 over 2 right so therefore we have 1 plus square root of 2 over 2 all over by 2 or we have to square this one next you will have now a simplify the equation inside the radical so therefore you will get 2 plus square root of 2 all over by 2 times 1 over 2 and then we will get now as equal to 2 plus square root of 2 okay so we will change the we have radical sign which is here only all over by positive Two. So that is the answer of cosine 22.5 if we will use the half angle formula. Okay, let's try about tangent. For tangent, tangent we have negative 15. Let's say negative 15. Okay, so negative 15 degrees, which gives us tangent, okay, 1 over 2 times negative 30 degrees okay so negative 30 degrees which is uh, we can get now into the equation okay so therefore you will have now 1 minus cosine negative 30 degrees all over by sine negative 30 degrees okay so we can get this one as 1 minus because cosine will give us the cosine negative identity cosine negative u will give us equal to cosine positive u right so therefore we have to get we look only for what is cosine 30 degrees cosine 30 degrees is equal to square root of 3 over 2 therefore you will get now a square root of 3 over 2 all over by sine sine is sine negative we have u is equals to negative sine u so therefore you will have now sine okay our sine negative 30 is equals to negative 1 over 2 okay so simplify more farther the equation so you will have now as 2 minus square root of 3 all over by 2 and then 1 half so therefore that is times okay 2 negative 2 over 1 okay then after that one simplify the equation so therefore you will have now as negative 2 plus square root of 3 so this one is tangent negative 50 degrees okay how about if we have radicals or we have radian form let's say we have this equation sine negative 5 over 12 so if if we have 
in radian form. So you can convert into degrees by multiplying by 180 over pi. Or you can have as well as equals to sine, okay, 1 over 2 times negative pi over 6, which is 30 degrees, right? So therefore, you can have now as this one is negative, so we will use the negative value, square root of, 1 minus, because this is sine, so therefore 1 minus cosine, okay, cosine negative pi over 6, all over by, we have 2, next, negative square root of, okay, cosine pi, negative pi over 6 is also, we have 30 degrees, so therefore 1 minus square root of 3 all over by 2 over by 2 right and then simplify this one so we will make the same denominator so therefore you will get now as negative square root of 2 minus square root of 3 over 2 all over by 2 right let's extend this one okay then simplify more farther, so therefore you will get now a square root of, okay, 2 minus square root of 3 over 2 times we have 1 over 2. So you will get the final answer as negative, okay, this one, don't forget the negative sign, negative square root of 2 minus square root of 3 all over by 2, okay, so this is the sign negative pi over 2. 12. So if you have problems with degrees again, so you can convert it into, we have earlier problem with radian, you can convert the negative pi over 12 times we have 180 over pi, so that you can cancel out this one. So therefore this one is 12 divided by 12 divided, or 180 divided by 12, so you can have by 6, right? So we have y6 here, this one is 2, this one is 30, this one is 30, and then that one is equal to 15 degrees, okay? So, in trying to solve for radian or degree, if you want to solve it in degree, so you can have to convert the degree into radian, if you want to make it in radian, or if you want to make it degree from radian, you just multiply by 180 over 5. So again, what are the formulas that we have? So for half angle formula, so sine u over 2 is equal to plus minus. It depends on, okay, it depends on which quadrant. 1 minus cosine to u all over by 2. Cosine u over 2 is equal to plus minus square root of 1 plus cosine u not to you guys okay u all over by 2 and then for tangent okay for tangent now tangent u over 2 is equals to 1 minus cosine u over sine u or we can have as well sine u over 1 plus cosine okay cosine u so what I've said, try to practice more samples so that you will be familiarized with the equations. If you have questions and clarification, don't forget to send me.